It is a beautiful day here at the meeting place of heaven and earth. The sun is shining and I am feeling fantastic. I just got done with an eight day fast. I was planning on doing a 10 day fast, but unfortunately some things came up. And fortunately, I guess, I got some business to take care of for the golden age. So I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna take a few days to handle all of the business and put on some more weight till I start a two week fast around the 11th. So I'll definitely let you know how that goes. But as far as this eight day fast goes compared to the seven day fast, absolutely night and day. The seven day fast, I was feeling really drained of energy and not wanting to do anything, even vomiting this time none of that maybe a little bit uh laziness or lack of energy i guess uh but overall nothing compared to the other fast the only the only primary difference is the first fast what i consumed was water this reset supplement here and black tea and green tazo tea. And during my second fast, I only consumed water and the green tazo tea. I think that the black tea was actually the culprit for the vomiting. Even if I drink it on an empty stomach when not fasting, it can cause that. So when I was saying in my previous video that I read online that someone was, you know, saying this idea of the body, the stomach continuing to put out acid, I think that is no longer correct. You're intelligently designed, okay? So once you start eating and food starts going through, that's when all the digestive processes start. They don't just keep going 24-7 unless you have food in there. Many people do. When you're eating animal corpses are really hard to break down. That stays in there for a really long time. So these processes are going for a really long time. Whereas the simple foods that we're supposed to eat, raw fruit and herb bearing seed, are very easy to digest and they go through us very quickly. So yeah, I think that the green or the black tea was the reason that I had the vomiting issue. None of that this time. And like I said, I didn't even have the reset supplement. So anyone thinking that that was the key to it, it definitely is not. The key to it is actually willpower. If you have the willpower, you can do anything that you set your mind to. Someone was asking me, uh, what are, you know, what are the rules of fasting? What's allowed during fasting? Uh, ultimately, you decide what you want to do. There are a lot of different types of fasting. So uh, you're the one that's going to have to decide what you want to do. But uh, obviously, the, there's dry fasting where you don't consume any anything at all, not even liquids. No thanks for me. I not interested in that. Nothing that I'm going to try ever doing. I like I like being hydrated, okay? <laughs> and uh, the fast that I have been doing is no food, zero calorie. So things that are zero calorie, no food, water, tea, the reset supplement, things like that. Um, juice fasting, where you only drink juices, fresh preferably freshly squeezed raw fruits and veggies. I actually just ran into my buddy recently and he said he has been only juicing since January. So since January he's only had juices and he has lost a lot of weight, like over 50 pounds. I'm like, wow, if you keep going that you're gonna have to buy a whole new wardrobe. You're looking great. Like, it's very impressive. I'm so smiley for him because it's really exciting to see people's lives actually changing by purification. <laughs> The other form of fasting is 
well, another main form of fasting, I should say, intermittent fasting, where you basically only eat during a set period of the day and for the rest of the day and night, you fast. There is tons of information about it online and even different, you know, charts that'll say if you're this old, this is the intermittent fast you should do and all of that type of stuff. I would highly recommend, even if you are doing intermittent fasting, that when you, you know, are eating, you're eating vegan foods. Preferably raw vegan, so that you're actually purifying yourself. Every bite that we take is either feeding diseases or fighting them. I am myself am very guilty of feeding diseases, even to this day, okay? But I desire to be better, and I am trying to be better every day. We get to make choices to be better or to be worse. And you know, it is fine to enjoy delicious, you know, junk vegan food, but you know, we have to balance it with being pure. It's not about being strictly raw vegan and never again ever enjoying french fries or like a vegan burger or cooked vegan cheese like i that sounds like a horrible existence uh i know that it's not what our creator completely intended for us he wants us to be raw vegan but as long as the innocents aren't being hurt eat all of the cooked vegan food you want knowing that it is ultimately hurting you I think that we need to enjoy life, like I said, being completely raw vegan, like, I know it would be ideal to raise my child raw vegan, but, like, never ever having, like, like a vegan birthday cake, or like a vegan pizza, or anything, like, that, that doesn't even sound like a, a good existence, so I think that balance is really the key, maybe, like, only having one day a week where you eat non-cooked food and uh, mainly keep it pure. So, yeah, I'm all about this purification, but I also understand that we want to enjoy life. The golden age isn't all about just, you know, restrictions, not having all the things that we have now. The things that are getting cut out are the things that are evil like abusing animals. You can have the same great taste that you love in a vegan version, and during the golden age if you come to the queen's kitchen, you can have it whenever you want for free. A vegan burger or anything. I wanna to have tons of things on the menu and have it be like a chain restaurant like McDonald's where it's literally everywhere and yeah, I'm really, really excited about what the future holds and purifying more. I am appreciative for all of those of you who are on this journey with me and I am proud of you for purifying, for trying to become a better version of yourself. I hope that you are proud of yourself too. No matter how, you know, many times you stumble, as long as you keep up getting up and going, even if you gotta crawl, as long as you're moving towards your goal, like I'm here cheering you on. You can do it and you're not alone. We're all here together on this earth, but whether we're on a path of corruption or a path of purification, we're not alone, right? And I'm on the path of purification, so if you're on that path, well, at least I am here with you so you know you're not alone. <laughs>